just 10 seconds to launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Event number 96 completed. And we have a successful liftoff of Vikram S rocket. I think I should be able to show you the jubilant environment here at the Mission Control Center where the entire team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket. The views from the launcher camera. In a few seconds, uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly. The vehicle will experience Q max around 15 seconds and at the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur. Just to remind the viewers, this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle. At tw 20 seconds flight time, we have reached Mark 5 Plus one which minute. means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities. It looks like we do have successful burnout and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction. Rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers, 67 now. We have completed 80 seconds of flight time. We are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed. The present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that. Uh, nominally, we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs. Views from the Mission Control Center. 86 kilometers in altitude. We are at 85 kilometers now and uh, slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude. Uh, if you can see it on the screens, the um, altitude profile is being shown. Around 133 seconds have passed. We are very close to the, our peak altitude. We are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude. And uh, uh, everything has gone as per we have planned. We are very close to the peak altitude now. The peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds. And now slowly the rocket will start its descent. Actually it has just started from 88 kilometers. Now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer. The peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good such successful satisfactory performance as intended by us. जी हाँ एक सफल उड़ान प्रथम उड़ान विक्रम एस के लिए प्रारंभ बड़ा ही रोचक रहा यह रॉकेट अपने गंतव्य तक भी पहुंचा और अब अपनी ऑल्टीट्यूड को घटाने की कोशिश में मात्र 70 किलोमीटर की ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब यह रॉकेट स्थित है this rocket achieved the apogee of 89.5 kilometers. That is the peak altitude achieved by this rocket was 89.5. Our target was to cross 80 kilometers. As you all know, 80 kilometers is commonly defined as the start of space. So this rocket successfully went into space as we intended. And now after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit, creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully. It is, or it is on its way back to a safe splashdown in the Bay of Bengal as we have intended. The range right now is 115 kilometers away from Shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from Shar. The whole thing has gone as per planned. ये बहुत ही खुशी की बात है कि स्काईरूट की तरफ से उनके पहले अभियान में ही जो उन्होंने प्लान किया था जो हमने प्लान किया था वो हम सक्सेसफुल रहे और अब ये रॉकेट अपने स्प्लैश डाउन के बहुत ही नजदीक है और हम 
किसी भी क्षण अब स्प्लैश डाउन के करेंगे और ये मिशन सक्सेसफुली अकम्पलिश हो जाएगा हम यहां पर बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरिकोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू